Kitzur Shochan Aruch, Simen Kuf Yud Aleph, Simen 111, Halacha Yud Aleph, the 11th Halacha. Okay, so we have uh, searched for Chametz, and we've been Mavato our Chametz. Now it is the next day, we've uh, had our breakfast, and we've gone to destroy our Chametz. So it says, Va'afal pi shebitel es chametz even though that we uh, nullified the Chametz, Belayla Acher Habedicha by night after the Bedicha after we searched, Michal Mokum. Nevertheless, Gam Bayom also in the day, in the morning, the Acher Shesaraf after we burnt I say it. Yachazor Vivatlenu, and we 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 turn we return and we are we nullify it again. V'yiklo kol ha'chametz, and we include all the chametz. V'yom, and we say, kol chamira v'chu. We that that Aramaic formula formula that I uh, um, made reference to in the previous video. Kol chamira, all the sourdough, blah blah blah. O, or we say, or beloshin shu maven, or we say it in a language that we understand. Okay. And again, I, I recommend saying that in English, uh, unless you are proficient in the Hebrew, because it's important that you understand what you're saying. There's nothing magic about the Hebrew language, and here especially, uh, you, you need to say it in a terms that you understand, so that you can take it to heart. So, but you know, here's the Hebrew text of, of that uh, Aramaic formula. So we say, kol so or any sourdough, for kol chametz in all any chametz uh, leavening, shiru rishusi that's in my uh, rishus in my uh, domain. Shiri sav received that I've seen. Shlomi received uh, that I haven't seen. Yeah, shabi artiv that I have uh, destroyed. Shlomi artiv and, and that I haven't destroyed. Whether I've destroyed it or whether I haven't. Yeh bato it should be but it should be mevato it should be bato. For hefker and and ownerless, the chashuv, and it, uh, it should be considered ka'afar ha'adam, like the dust of the earth. You know that is essentially the Hebrew version of the Aramaic text that appears um, in most Sidurim. Um Many Sidurim will give this uh, this Hebrew, the Aramaic text, and we'll also give the Hebrew text, and then we'll also give uh, a, uh, a version of it in the vernacular. Um, whether it be Yiddish, English, uh, whatever the uh, vernacular is, uh, whatever the translation of the Siddur is that you're using, we should have it. Okay, we say that again the next day, just to, to reiterate, because uh, after all, we ate uh, chametz uh, that morning, and we held out a little bit, a little bit of chametz, so we're reiterating that what uh, whatever is in a, that we might have in our Rishus in our domain, we uh, we nullify it immediately. Uh, also, there is uh, added onto this uh, varies from community to community. But if you look in your sitter, perhaps you'll find there's some very nice uh, prayers that have been composed over the years, to where the chametz that we're destroying and nullifying is uh, is. Uh, taken to be symbolic for various bad uh, qualities that uh, we we people have so in in, in the destroying um, the, the chametz as a physical thing we pray also that uh, at least on some level we can destroy the the things that the chametz is representative of um, inside us also so it's a nice uh, a nice time a very dramatic time to offer up some prayers and perhaps uh, do a, a little tshuva, a little repentance, before we enter into the Pesach Seder that will take place that night. Anyway, that's that. Um, I hope you'll join me for the next video. Call to Hatzlacha Keep learning.